I am going to shock you with today's hydration station. So grab your drink and while you're doing that, you'll never guess what's in mine because I did something very unusual today. I made a peppermint tea, like hot water peppermint tea bag. Let it cool down, fill this up with ice and then pour the tea over top of ice. So this is like an iced peppermint tea. What is going on? Cheers. Hope you're having a good day. Oh my God. It's so good. Mm. I won't be happy for long because uh, we're chatting about some spoiled entitled people. And I just don't vibe with those types of people. I like humble pie. One time in elementary school, my friend had a party for all the kids in the class and his mom ordered like 10 pizzas. And when they arrived, they were square cut. Yeah. Pizza parties were the best. He threw a fit because he wanted triangles. So his mom threw the pizzas away and reordered new pizza. Oh my God. I would have never allowed it. I would start taking those pizza slices, shoving them in my freaking backpack. I'd put them in my binder. I don't care. Those are not going in the garbage. Number one. Number two. Who is on team triangle pizza? I need to know this. If you have a choice, square pizza or triangle pizza. Guys, square pizza is the opportunity for anyone who doesn't like crust. I like crust. So when I go for square pizza, I take Take a corner piece, but I also love a slice of pizza that has no crust. It's just all gooey ooey edges. Growing up, my parents were never poor or even close to be considered poor by any standards. I had a rich friend in middle school whose family was insanely rich and her mom was convinced that we were dirt poor. She would always make comments about how sorry she was for me and she knows how hungry I must be. But I was never poor. She was just absurdly rich. One day she called my friend and I to the kitchen. She has two bowls of tortilla chips. She tells me to try one chip from both bowls. I do. I tell her something like, well, those are tortilla chips. Guys, I know I say tortilla and people are like, it's tortilla. And her mom turns to my friend slash her daughter. See, that's why you don't want to end up like her parents. She can't taste the difference between brand name and generic. Imagine thinking you were too good for generic tortilla chips. I'll say it once and I'll say it again, okay? No name brand stuff is sometimes better than the actual brand. I don't care who knows it. I'm gonna be real. If there's a no name option, I'm buying it. Unless it's Miley Cyrus, I am not paying for the name. One time I asked a girl in my class if she wanted an orange. She said yes and I handed her one. She asked what it was. <laughs> I was a little confused. It's an orange, I said. She said, no, oranges don't have this rough skin. They're just sections that you break apart. I was shocked and explained that it was the peel and all oranges had them. She said, oh, I guess my butler has always peeled them for me. She was 16 at the time. The entire class was furious. Well, bless her soul. I mean, I don't know how you've like still never seen an orange. Even like movies, maybe. She clearly didn't know. Having a butler to peel your oranges sounds pretty good. Let me tell you, I hate peeling them. Peeling oranges sucks. I grew up with a rich girl who never had a realistic view of the world. Her wedding gift from her parents was a 500K house. <laughs> built to her sp sp uh -huh. The house took a year, maybe two, to build. And during that time, she and her husband lived at her parents' mansion. They had an entire floor to themselves. It was about 2,000 square feet and it consisted of a kitchen, two bedrooms, a rec area, etc. Did she realize how good she had it? Of course not. She spent the entire time laminating on Facebook. Nope, not laminating, Joss. On Facebook about how hard it was to be homeless. I don't think you know the definition of homeless. That was a few years ago. She still posts as someone who used to be homeless. Oh my God. As someone who used to be homeless comments while sitting in her fancy custom built 500K house. The only reason I haven't unfollowed her yet is because she's like a train wreck that's impossible to look away from. You know what? I'd be guilty of that sometimes. There are some people, whether that's an influencer or people who I used to go to high school with, you know when people like go on rants all the time and there's always drama in their life and they're posting about it. Not my vibe. Too negative, would never do it. However, <laughs> I also kind of want to know about it. A girl I have known most of my life. Her parents treat her like she's the queen of England or something. Growing up, if there was a new toy out that she wanted, her parents bought her five, and if possible, in each color, because she would break her toys. She had two to three bedrooms. One was big enough to be a studio apartment alone. Why does a kid need that? Where did she sleep? Her parents' bedroom. If she wanted to go somewhere like Disney World, her parents dropped everything to start planning the vacation. When she started driving, she had three new cars in eight months. Not because she crashed them or they broke down, but because she just had to have the newest model. I think she's on her 15th car now. Never has had a job. Her parents pay for her and now her son. Wow. 
good for you. Maybe part of me is a little slightly jealous, but at the same time, I am who I am today because I learned the value of a dollar. I moved out at 17 and paid my way my whole life. And I think I would rather that than being that spoiled. Of course, everyone would like to live comfortably financially. My wife's friend, her husband bought her a puppy and spent $600 on the actual dog, training, food, toys, etc. He is the one that took it outside to pee, fed it, took it on walks, etc. Pretty much did everything to take care of it. She throws an absolute ballistic fit because the puppy likes him more. Stopped wearing her wedding ring. What? Changed all her profile pictures to not include her husband, etc. Total spoiled biatch. Okay, wait a second. She did all that and she's mad because the dog likes him more, but he's the one who takes care of it and spends all the time with it. I think there's more. There's more to the story than just the dog. She sounds lovely. I need more tea. You know, I think green tea would also be really good. I didn't have green tea. I wanted green tea and I ran out. Two instances, one from each of my brothers. The first, my older brother stole money, probably around $700 from my parents and hid it at a friend's house, hoping nobody would notice and they could buy an Xbox. When confronted both by my parents and the cops, he said, it's fine. We're rich, so it doesn't matter. No, we aren't. Oh, so you're not rich? Oh, I thought you were rich. Then my younger brother is being sent on an all expenses paid first class trip for two weeks to spend time with friends across the country. He threw an actual honest to God fit because one of the stipulations is that he needed to spend a few days with our grandparents while he was out there. My 17 year old brother was screaming and crying because he didn't want to spend two days with our grandparents who literally would go and give anything for us who have done nothing but love us to pieces, who are too old to come visit us and haven't seen him in two years. I don't yell much, so imagine his surprise when I sit him down and scream, scream at him for being an entitled piece of shite. I feel like you're really gonna regret that when you're older. I understand as a kid, you're like, no, I just wanna be with my friends, this and that, but you don't realize the importance of time and how limited it is and how lucky we are to have it. And Matthew, if you didn't know, my partner, lost his mother at Christmas this year, which was a literal nightmare for all of us. And that has even put more perspective into my mind because I'm like, time is precious. Rant over before I cry. I can't talk about Matt's mom without crying. During one of my substitute teaching assignments, I had the joy of meeting the most spoiled teenager I had ever encountered before or since. Conrad, I like that we left it anonymous. Conrad was spoiled in a way only children of two rich divorced parents can be. Conrad was an only child whose parents used material goods and money to buy his affection. On the first day of this particular sub job, Conrad informed me he didn't have to do his work. He would just get his father to pay the teacher Teacher a crap load of money and he would get an A. I stated I didn't care what he did as long as he did not disturb his classmates and wrote his comments in my sub notes. He was placated for the day and dinked around on his cell phone until the period ended. The second day really showed Conrad's true colors. The class was supposed to do group work and he was working with a group of friends. He spent the work time continuously talking about how much he hated his mom because she bought him a used 2013 Ford Focus for his 16th birthday instead of a brand new BMW that he wanted. That's great. My high school boyfriend back in the day, his first car was a Ford Focus. And I remember just being like, oh, Ford Focus. <laughs> That's so cool. I made a comment that I would love it if my parents gifted me a fairly new used vehicle to which he commented, of course you would. You're a teacher and poor. I told him to get back to work. And if I caught him off task again, he would need to work alone. He was fine after that. The third and final day of my assignment, Conrad was in an absolute tizzy. A tizzy? About something his mother Mother had done. Probably the BMW thing, I don't know, or care. What I did care about was that he kept commenting on how he was going to sabotage his mother's plane so that biatch would fall out of the sky and die. Wow. I told him to rein in those comments as they were not appropriate for school and could get him in serious trouble. I left him with his group to continue work for the previous day. Approximately five minutes later, I hear nervous laughter coming from Conrad's group. He has his phone out and is showing the group something on it. I walk over and ask to see what is causing such a fuss. Conrad the idiot <laughs> showed me his Snapchat story, which consisted of a picture he took of his mother with an emoji weapon pointed at her head and text, I'ma shoot this be okay. 
I got him sent to the office, talked to the school social worker and the school resource officer, all because he didn't get a BMW and his parents couldn't be arsed to show him some actual love and affection for his entire life. There's some deep rooted issues there. And some people might be like, oh, he was just kidding. He's not actually going to, until it's in a true crime documentary and he actually does. I wouldn't take that lightly either if I was a teacher. My ex-girlfriend, she grew up in a really fancy town in Illinois called Evansville or something. We went to a really great sushi place and she complained that the rice was too chewy and that they didn't know what authentic sushi tastes like. The sushi place owned by two elderly Japanese people who lived in Okinawa for 30 years. When I bought a new car, she complained all the time about how the seats weren't soft enough. Biatch, those seats were like giant pillows. We attended a friend's small party on a sports yacht in Miami. She complained of the fish smell. We were going on an effing yacht on the ocean. It's going to smell like fish. I had to end things after that. Yeah, that's like the type of person that's just never happy with anything. Like how you find something negative in going on a yacht in Miami? Come on now. This kid I went to high school with got a Porsche for 16th birthday. Oh my God, can't relate. Keep in mind, 16 in my state is when you can get a permit. So he didn't even have a license. He got a new one later in high school after backing out into a tree. He basically was handed admission to an Ivy League school because his grandparents had donated a building. Oh. Donated a building? I've heard of like donating some baked goods for the bake sale. Can you donate a building for me called a house? <laughs> This market's crazy. Those are some spoiled entitled people. If you know any or have known some, let me know in the comments. I'm out of here though. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy and I'll see you tomorrow.